Welcome to the session of data interpretation and this session is related to your block zero session. This particular topic or session is related to your mathematical operations or you can say before starting the Vedic math technique, your first session is CB1 session, DIB0, CF2, CB1 that related to your mathematical operations because any kind of technique if you want to apply or you want to learn before understanding the technique or before understanding the Vedic math, first you should know, first you should be aware what are the mathematical operations and how many type of mathematical operations are there and what are the different type of mathematical operations used for different purposes. Then this session we are going to explore all different kind of mathematical operations that will be used at different different purposes and again order of mathematical operations just suppose if more than two mathematical operation you are doing at a time then which one you should do first which one you should do last means order of mathematical operation types of mathematical operations and exactly what is the mathematical operations and here i will show you why it is interrelated basic math to the logic while logic and based on that this understanding of mathematical operation one of the major chapter in your logical reasoning that is called logical connectives that will totally depends on your mathematical operations but it will be represented in terms of logic it will not represented in a terms of plus minus or multiplication or division it will be represented in terms of logic like if it is plus it meaning is or if it is multiplication it meaning is and that is your fundamental principle of counting but beyond that if something is not exist or it is exist this is one kind of logic either or neither nor so many kind of logics are there that is based on based on you can say very basic mathematical operation or you can say basic arithmetic mathematical operation what are the arithmetic operations these four fundamental arithmetic operations are there plus minus and multiplication and division then just we'll start this session what will be our learning point during this session will be what are the mathematical operations types of mathematical operations and exponentiation and root extraction that is one another kind of mathematical operations and afterwards we'll try to learn about the brackets different type of brackets and among the brackets what will be the order of mathematical operations which bracket you should do first and afterwards which one and afterwards which one means total three or four type of brackets will be there for math purpose another few type of brackets will be there that will be used only for your computer computer programming that we are not going to discuss here whatever used for your arithmetic calculation purpose that brackets only will use next is your wing, uh, vinculum and vinculum you can say it is a kind of repetition and next is your board mass v board mass these all will give the your order of mathematical operations means what order should be maintained if you are tackling more than one mathematical operation together then uh, just will uh, just will go through within uh, one or two minutes about the syllabus and what we are what we are going to do and what we are doing in entire cat preparation cat is divided in four section for your preparation point of view it is qa di lr and va right now we are doing the di and further di is divided in four blocks di b0 di b1 di b2 and di b3 means you can say di block 0 block 1 block 2 and block 3 now we are doing the block 0 that is mainly related to your Vedic math in complete di block zero we will discuss and we will explore all the aspect of Vedic math then this is divided further in two concept folders cf1 and cf2 cf1 will deal with your general idea about the Vedic math and how Vedic math will be applicable for cat preparation and other than cat preparation also you can say general general idea and general application and another session will be here that will be related to, related to your Vedic math versus calculator concept folder two that will deal with all tech techniques related to your Vedic math that will be deal in 23 session and out of these 23 session this is your first session CB1 and CB1 I have picked mathematical operations because before understanding any of the technique or anything you should first understand what is the mathematical operations and how we are doing the mathematical operations before doing the mathematical operations math is only just a counting number one two three four one two three four is a counting number if you are just merging any of the any of uh, any of the counting number with another counting number then which way you are merging like which way you are making the group like you are just adding or you are subtracting or you are just making separation any kind of groupism you can do based on that only mathematical operations are defined means you can say mathematics will start with your counting number one two three four 
four. If you are doing certain groupism among the among the counting numbers, then mathematical operation will start. And once mathematical operation will start, different type of expression will come, algebra will come, number will come, and afterwards, based on that, all full mathematics has emerged, and it is keep on inventing. Then mathematical operations will try to explore in all the way. to understand what is the very fundamental related to mathematical operations here i think just terminology wise it is not required you should uh, try to remember but just i will tell you this is called operand operand means on which we are doing some operations or we are doing some input or another is addicity or rank rank means how many input we are providing correct here just suppose it is first figure it is only one operand is there and we are providing only one input and one out put is there that is called unary system or based on that only thing you can do it is called negation negation means if you are putting not in place of any of the word like you can go to the usa then another question will be there how you cannot go to the usa that is called negation then this is a your part of logical reasoning and you will able to understand here how basic math is related to your logic due to i told math math from math you can just convert into a logic and logic further will convert into a computer programming then this is a flow it will finally depends on your very fundamental math fundamental math only will give you the way of thinking in different way and that will give you the logic and logic if we are using in different combination and different uh, different array, different permutation and combination based on the certain output means your mindset is very clear what you want to output based on the goal of output you are using the logic in different different mix mix or permutation and combination then that will give you the computer programming and only language will be change language will be change that programming will be feed in different different uh, different different platform of the computer in different way but way or sense will be same way or sense will be same that will come from the basic fundamental math then understanding the basic math it is not going to help only for your cat preparation it is it is you can say it is very holistic package it is going to affect your professional life personal life everything because everything will depends on your fundamental math or you can say 1 2 3 4 and further if 1 2 3 4 we are doing some combination or some groupism that will give you the system of mathematical operation and just we'll see if your operands are two means two you have the operands means maybe two numbers you have or two variables you have and two input you have and output is one then you can say it is a binary system and based on the binary system binary or mathematical operation system don't think it is a binary basic a number based system binary one of the number based system where zero and one will come in picture all the computer programming will be written based on the zero one either off or on either will pass or don't pass either exist don't exist means only two flip of issue will be there either it is a head or head or uh, tail or you can say it is a win or loss but here this binary is a different thing binary means if you are giving the two input and that is providing you one output that is called your binary mathematical operation and based on the binary mathematical operation these basic four mathematical operation you can understand you can say it is a addition subtraction multiplication and division and these four operations are called basic arithmetic operations what is logic it is used like either or and everything it will be used and based on that one of the chapters are there in your lr that is called logical connectives if you are good enough in basic math or good enough in your basic fundamental mathematical operations your this part of lr automatically will improve you will able to correlate in better way and i am giving you nobody will give you this kind of correlation how lr is related with your 1 2 3 4 who will give you everybody will tell this is your separate chapter that is related to your logic and this is your separate chapter that that is related to your mathematics but i am telling you mathematics is related to logic and finally logic is coming from the basic math if you are able to understand basic math you will able to apply the logic in better way then lr also it is going to help you if you are able to understand all these fundamental math in better way just will try to categorize all type of mathematical operations or you can say types of mathematical operations here i have written in shortcut mo mathematical operations don't make another meaning this is mathematical operations only then mathematical operations we can divide in three parts or three category don't think it is a very academic categorization anywhere during the session or various uh, various section or various chapter if i am categorizing any of the things for your sake of understanding don't think it is a perfect academic way or it is written somewhere in books or somewhere in material or somebody has done like this no it is just for ease of understanding i am doing the division 
for understanding purpose or you can say how you can use this uh, basic concept better way for your cat preparation to uh, you can say just for ease of that we are dividing in this way then mathematical operation here you can categorize in three category one is your arithmetic mathematical operations in that already we have seen it is plus minus multiplication and division next is your exponent and root or based on that you can say exponentiation and root extraction and third is you can say based on your groupism means any similar category or similar type of numbers or variables or similar type of mathematical operation if you are making one group then you can divide in various categories like one of the categories brackets brackets will be mainly four types will be used but for mathematics mainly three type will be used that is your small bracket generally we use to tell parenthesis and second is your square bracket this one and third is your braces this one this will represent a set also and fourth is your angle bracket that will not much use for your mathematics this will be much used for your computer programming and last is your vinculum vinculum means you can say simple way it is a repetition just if anything is repeating now present sense earlier it was different sense earlier it was just a sorting out of the number sorting out of the one kind of data one kind of number or one kind of mathematical operation but now present it is mainly mainly meaning is repetition like if you are writing 0.35 you are putting like this what is meaning here after decimal 35 35 35 it is keep on repeating you can say infinite number of times this is this will show just a repetition how to show or how to you can symbolize the repetition of digits mainly decimal fraction mainly decimal fraction or you can say before that it will not much useful mainly decimal friction or you can say rational number irrational number if it is terminating non-terminating then how to identify based on this uh, vinculum bar you will able to identify generally we can say it is a bar also bar above the numbers then now this you can say this is braces braces will uh, represent the elements of a set also like any set if we are we are writing like n equal to then we can say it is n is a set of three elements one two three well, how many numbers are given or how many how many maybe anything is written maybe variable or maybe alphabets or maybe anything maybe name of the animals whatever will be written like n can be equal to three fruits also apple and something something then also we can say it is a n is a set of three elements elements may be different elements may be numbers or name of the fruits or name of the person name of the river or name of the planets anything but this is the representation of set means braces are representing representing the set also apart from the mathematical operations and this is your bracket generally used in uh, programming in uh, normal math this is just a type of mistake i have written norm math it is normal it is normal math not used much much frequently after then this one bar bar it is kind of separation but now mainly used for your symbol of repetition of decimal fraction now we'll come to the second category that is your exponentiation exponentiation meaning is if a base and a positive number two things are available one number is there that you can use as a base or another positive number is there that you can use as a power what is meaning of power simple meaning is it is a just repeated multiplication of base whatever your base is there like b square b into b b to the power q b into b into b b to the power n b into b into b into n times means you can say it is a just a repeated multiplication of base that is called exponentiation further properties of exponent exponent and related to that it is a part of algebra we will discuss in very interesting way that is exponent exponent and power and how to do the mathematical operations among the exponent here uh, it is not a part of this here we are only understanding exponentiation is exponentiation is one of the mathematical operations next is your root create root extraction root extraction you can say just just reverse of exponentiation like nth root of b how you will able to write like n, r to the power n equal to b just in reverse way means if you want to write b is a just nth power of something then r to the power n if it is equal to b then you can say here r is a r is a nth root of b r is a, or you can just extend this one you can write like this means r is a nth root of b that is meaning of nth root or root extraction you can say it is just reverse process of exponentiation next we'll come to the brackets all type of brackets this is your uh, parenthesis next is your square braces and angle brackets and you can just look in the figure it will always go from inner to outer means first you have to do this one 
next you have to do this one after parenthesis and next you have to do after a square bracket you have to do the braces means first you have to do the parenthesis whatever given inside here something some numbers has given or some operation has given maybe it is written 3 into 5 and afterwards here something written then first you have to start with inner brackets do first you can say small bracket or parenthesis next you have to do a square bracket and after a square bracket you have to do the braces then this is your uh, just general uh, expression of all type of brackets and apart from these different type of angle brackets also coming you will able to visualize if anywhere you are facing then you will not get any confusion this is your repetition or group how to represent like 1 by 3 if you are writing 0 0.3333 3, 3, 3, 3 infinite number of times then you can write 0 0.3 and if you are putting like here bar then you can say it is a vinculum then vinculum means you can understand how it will work out like uh, it is just a logical flow anatomy of radical then radical this is your this line is your vinculum bar and this is your radicand and this is your radical and this is your degree very clear you will not get any confusion if you are facing any kind of calculation or any kind of mathematical equation you know what what are the these variable and how to deal with that and afterwards you will able to understand in different different way if vinculum also a part of your mathematical operations like other than brackets if vinculum also there then first you have to start with vinculum means you can say it is a top most priority whatever repetition of digits are given repetition of number is given or repetition of fraction is given or decimal is given then first you have to do that operation due to it is called board mass and after board mass it is called v board mass means first first if vinculum is there then first you have to apply vinculum then you have to apply the brackets then like that keep on we have to follow the order that also will come order of mathematical operations now here just you will see as a grouping symbols then parenthesis first will come then bracket then braces and this next application is this this is one of the you can say one of the best mathematical tool or algebraic tool to explore so many functions that is absolute values this we are not going to discuss now this you can say it is an advanced mathematical operation that will discuss during your algebra chapter and everywhere you will face like this because this is equivalent to your a square function also this you can say a square function and absolute function absolute function both are same if you are writing like mod x generally we used to tell mod or you are writing x square you cannot make equivalent otherwise it will be confusing you can write like y1 equal to mod x and y2 equal to x square then you can say representation wise or distribution of value wise both are same because both will be always positive this mod x will be always positive and x square also will be positive meaning is it will lie only above the x-axis it will not go below x-axis only difference will be there this will represent y1 function will represent a straight line and this will represent a parabola or if you want to understand little bit then you can say if you want to understand in little bit more just i am giving the highlight mainly it is a algebra topic now we are doing the vedic math but i am able to correlate i am just giving you the idea how all these are in all these concepts are interrelated to each other then y1 equal to mod x or y2 equal to x square both are even function another aspect both are even function because it is symmetric about the y axis just you can look it is symmetric about y axis this is your y axis always it will be symmetric about the y axis then both are even function also and you can say both are will be always positive it will be always lying above the x axis this is your x axis it will not go below x axis means negative part will be always a mirror image of that in case of mod or x square it will be a it will be represent a parabolic nature this will represent a, a straight line but many of the many of the questions you can use y equal to mod x and y equal to x square in the form of nature of the function just what i want to say you what i want to convince you just try to focus on that in in the way of the nature of the function both are same if we will find exact value it may not be same like if you are taking x equal to 2 then y1 will be equal to 2 but y2 will be equal to 4 2 a square it will become 4 then exact value will not change but nature of function is same due to this will represent in place of mod x you can represent a x square or in place of x square you can take the mod x after what is coming radical sign like this one and next it is coming your fraction by line and this is your vinculum line your you can say this is your division line whatever we are using if any of the fraction you are devising any of the bar generally it is called vinculum but mainly now in present sense we are telling out the repetition of the number like 0 0.3333 if we are putting 0 0.3 to the power 
this one bar then you can say it is a vinculum now we'll just come to the next interesting point of this session that is your order of operations like you have all the mathematical operations and more than two or three mathematical operations you have to do based on the same input means maybe two number of operands are there three number of operands are there but more than two three mathematical operation you have to do together then what will be the order order means which mathematical operation you have to do first like i will tell you 2 plus 3 divided by 5 then which one you should do first if i am telling 10 divided by 5 divided by 2 then first you have to divide 2 to 5 and then next you have to divide this one or first you have to divide 5 to 10 then you have to do like this means you can say what will be the order here both both the operations are division but here also again order will be matter and i am 100 percent sure many of the students will little get confusion what will be the answer answer will be one or answer will be four here two answer you will get just we'll discuss again the in place of division just suppose if one is multiplication or one is addition and another is division another is you can say bracket then which mathematical operation you should do first then here one of the thumb rule that is called board mass generally in asian countries or india we will just use this acronym or you can say mnemonics to just memorize that uh, you can say order of mathematical operation that is called brackets of of means like two of three two of one by three like that this expression and next will come division multiplication addition and subtraction then this will be your order of operation it will start from left to right first you have to do the bracket then you have to do the off then you have to do the division then multiplication then addition and subtraction last me subse last me subtraction and if it is vinculum is involved then first you have to do the vinculum means it will become v board mass now two three two three things you just try to understand again it will be explored during your algebra session in quant like serial exponentiation what is serial exponentiation what is serial exponentiation one we have just gone through one of the mathematical operation that is exponential exponentiation exponentiation means if you are repeatedly multiplying one certain base that is called exponentiation but what is meaning of serial exponentiation means you are just increasing the power of that one means a to the power b b to the power c what is meaning this one meaning here first you have to start from top to bottom don't get confused here many students will do the mistake these all are very fundamental thing again it will so many times i will explain during your entire session that is beauty of this this course one of the things you will not get one time during entire session you will it will be revised five times i'm telling them only up to phase two once you will go to phase three that will be advanced it will be revised then first you have to do b to the power c and that b to the power c will be power of a don't think it is a to the power b and to the power c it will not equal it will not equal don't put here bracket this is wrong way means first you have to do b to the power c like you can take simple example there is not a big thing like this one 2 to the power 3 to the power 2 what you have to do first you have to take 3 square it will become 9 then it will become a 2 to the power 9 and 2 to the power 9 is equivalent to 5 1 2 then this will be answer don't do like 2 to the power 3 to a square means it will become 2 to the power 3 it will become 8 8 a square it will become 64 this is wrong this is wrong this is not correct this is not correct and just you can see how much differences are there between 64 and 512 64 is 2 to the power 6 and 512 is 2 to the power 9 how much differences are there too much differences are there then once you will do the mistake you will arrive at the wrong solution then don't do like this this is your serial exponentiation always calculate from top to bottom as a power wave same way you can just extend serial division whatever i am just telling to you to you just one two minutes before like 10 divided by this one serial division it will always follow left to right same way like serial exponent exponentiation it is following top to bottom here you can follow left to right operation like if it is 12 divide by 6 divide by 2 then always you have to follow left to right okay if it is same mathematical operation it is giving more than two times or three times then what you have to do first you have to divide 12 divide by 6 it will become 2 and again 2 divide by 2 it will be 1 that is your correct don't do like from right to left 6 divide by 2 it will become 3 12 divide by 3 you will get 4 that is wrong very basic thing basic thing only most important basic thing only most important in your life if anything either you are a very big very big professional or you are uh, maybe you are a very you are a, at a big position in your company but what do you realize in life once you are keep on growing what you are doing you are learning so many new things 
But understanding wise where you are going, you are going further deeper, you are going just further deeper to a basic level. Maybe information wise you are getting so many things, so many exploration, so many new information, new knowledge, new, uh, new study, new degree, so many things we will do. But understanding wise you will keep on go to the basic, then basic is most important. Then your knowledge will get one another dimension of thinking. Once you will keep on dig out the basics and you will able to understand in different different way, then your knowledge, whatever you have and from different different subject or different field, it will give a new dimension of thinking. And that is only purpose of educated or intellectual person. Means whatever knowledge you have, you are keep on thinking in different different way or you are able to draw a different different dimensions from that knowledge. Otherwise, if it is become dead, you are not able to draw different dimensions. You are not able to just, uh, uh, you can say, just make new conclusion based on your information or knowledge. Then that knowledge is useless. You can say it is just a just collection of garbage. You put somewhere, but it is not used. Next will come. It is a in acronym way. It is called bid mass also, or it is called paid mass also. In USA, generally they will use paid mass and bid mass. What is bid mass and paid mass? You can understand here. It is mentioned like here. It is hmm, this is your bid mass and this is your this is your PEMDAS means you can say three things you have to all are all are same all are not different either you are using board mass bid mass or paid mass all order will be same from left to right that is 100% sure order will be almost always same like this but what is the meaning of different words that only you have to understand like PEMDAS you hear here it will be a parenthesis then exponent then it will be multiplication then division then add this only it is different this is different like here first you have to use parenthesis then you have to use exponent then you have to use exponent then you have to go for multiplication then you have to go for division and then you have to add and then you have to subtract at last that is your PEMDAS that also you can follow depends on which type of mathematical operation is given just try to understand my point of view which type of mathematical operation is given like just suppose out of brackets if it is given only a small brackets means parenthesis other brackets are not given then what do you have to do? first you have to use that one parenthesis and next you have to come to the next type of calculation next type of calculation means a square or something what is this one this is like a off this is like a off off means off you can use in the form of exponent like same way board mass is here like brackets Again, orders, same way like you are using uh, root of x, x square or one, uh, 2 into 1 by 3. These all will come under the of. Uh, you can say otherwise orders or then it will come divisions and next will be your multiplication and addition, subtraction will be always last. That is common. Addition and subtraction from last two, it will be always addition and subtraction. That is a, your common for any of the system. Either you are following bid mass, PEMDAS or board mass. Like here, a full form you want to understand, this figure will be much helpful. This figure you will able to understand the full form. Like first one is, this is your board mass, this is your brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. This is your brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. And this is your PEMDAS, this is parenthesis, exponents, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. But, but in all of the cases, always flow of the mathematical operation or you can say order of the mathematical operation from top to bottom like here if you are writing in acronym way it will be left to right here just understanding where we have written in the form of uh, this tabular format then you can say it will be always from top to bottom then uh, in this session we have explored so many things about about the mathematical operations and if i am not wrong i will just telling you with very huge confidence earlier you have never expected any of the session one hour session will be there that will be totally devoted to your mathematical operations and it will be fully explored about the mathematical ex, mathematical operations and it will be reconnected all parts of your math like numbers algebra and every parts can you imagine you cannot imagine that much that much effort and that much you can say content management i am doing here for your sake for your ease of preparation means you will feel very very comfort during your preparation no tension everything will be systematic way it will move everything systematic way not a single concept not a single idea of the thinking not a single type of problem you will miss then thank you very much for your good attention and i hope your attention will be continued in coming season thank you